Welcome to the Old Brother Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Smith. Alongside me, as always, my brother from the same mother, Mike Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry I took part in this episode. We, we didn't uh, We didn't mean any harm. Uh, it, well, no, no, nobody was hurt during the making of the episode. But during the listening of other the Other than us. Yeah. And so this is, this is, we feel, okay, it's July 9th, 2021. And this is a brand new series of brother versus brother trivia episodes. We decided so we were, to, to wipe the slate clean. Wipe the slate clean, come at it again. Mike having a little mercy on me. And this might be one of our worst ep No, it is our worst episode ever. I think if you go back and listen to top five films, The Joker, you know, any of those, those first three or four episodes. You'll love them. I'd take one of those over this any yeah. day of the week. Uh, it just, it got off the rails real fast. And it's so, like, it's like the hardest questions you could ever imagine. Terrible. And it just goes on and on and on. And, and, and you know, you expect more from old brother. <laughs> do they though? I'm not sure that they I do, don't. but that look at that aside we felt we needed some sort of like surgeon general disclaimer yeah you know, like, like watching this health. listening f any further could be hazardous if you, you have it, a could, heart, it could cause you to slam on the brakes and say what in the f if you have a heart condition yeah you know, don't not, stomach, don't listen don't you listen. should you should just if you are nine and a half months pregnant Absolutely. This will this, this will put you into labor. Yeah. Do not listen to this episode. That'll be. A and I do want to show two things. Yeah. Yes. If, if you're viewing. Yes. This, and, and this is only relevant if you listen to the episode. So if, if you, you keep going, it, this it, will it, make it, sense. It, yeah. Enter at your own risk. Proceed at your own risk. However, we're clearing up a few uh, points that you will hear in this episode if you choose to listen. One of which Mike is holding up right now, which is. Clint Eastwood in the man with no name trilogy. That's all we're going to say. It'll make sense later on in the episode. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, we're holding up is, can you read it? It's Harry Potter in the Sorcerer's Stone. Correct. Again, that's all we're going to say. Nothing, nothing else to say. Do with it what you will. Mm -hmm. uh, what we just felt that, you know, we, we, we know that you expect more from us, uh, we come on mic every week and we try to give you a solid show. We hope to entertain and inform. And we just, we fell a little short on that promise today. So we I felt, think so. Yeah. We felt that it was necessary for us to, uh, to get on mic here and, and offer our sincere apology. Uh, much is the custom of the day, uh, you know, cause we don't want to get canceled. We want to make sure that the cancel exactly. culture doesn't come for our brother. So <laughs> if you choose to, to, to continue on and listen, don't say you weren't warned. If you don't feel like going to the theater right now, you might want to, instead of listening to this episode, great choice. You might want to watch fast eight great. with the rock Dwayne Johnson. It's a great choice who will soon be in theaters again. Uh, and again, I think every other movie he's in, in the jungle cruise, jungle but, cruise. Well, there you have it, folks. We, so, we, we sincerely apologize. And right now I would say, turn it off. Stay tuned or steer clear. This is Oh brother trivia round one. We're sorry, everybody. We're sorry. Our deepest apologies. Welcome to the O Brother Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Smith. Alongside me, as always, my brother from the same mother, Mike Smith. How are you doing, Dan? You know, why are we back? Why am I back doing this? This is round four of brother versus brother trivia. You'd well, think I'd learn after three strikes. Well, we're starting fresh. This is a new three out of five. Oh, you're having mercy on me. Well, thank you, kind sir. I figure we wipe the slate clean. We start over. Yeah, that's I'm I'm fine with wiping the slate clean. July 9th, 2021. Uh, we are coming to you with another brother versus brother trivia episode. Would say round four. Mike just explained we're cleaning the slate. So technically, this is round one of a new a new series. You know, I gotta say, 
our last trivia episode was back in April. And that was pretty unforgettable. Uh, our cell phones are working well now. We got that situated. If you recall, oh, we was, had, that, was that the trivia? Yeah. We had all kinds of uh, fun with AT&T and Sprint that night. And uh, wow. Go with I Verizon. Never saw you so steamed. I don't get angry that you were often. Like, you're like a cartoon character with the smoke coming out of your ears. Yeah. So we're just going to dive in. But before we do, for those of you that are not following us, make sure that you do. And the easiest way to find all things O Brothers to go out to our official website, which is, say so I do this now and I know what's coming, which is the problem. Mike is like, uh, what, what's the guy's name that, that uh, just said it and forget it. What was that guy with the infomercial that sold like the, the rotisserie? Yeah, Ron Popeil. Popeil. God rest his Popeil soul. fisherman. I, I assume he's dead now. I, I God rest his soul. But uh, so go to our official website, which is OHB as in brother podcast.com. That's OHB podcast.com. You can get access to all things old brother out there, all of our social media. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our videos out there. We'd appreciate it if you do that. That does help us out quite a bit when you subscribe and, and like our videos. Our last episode, we did a deep dive into Wes Anderson's work. And we talked about three films I hadn't seen yet at that point, which was kind of sad. But yeah, shocking. Yeah, we talked about Bottle Rocket. And uh, we talked about The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou and then The Grand Budapest Hotel because it was kind of a nice almost 10 year span in between films covering a 25 year arc of his filmmaking. And we're going to see the next one probably soon. Yeah. The French dispatch. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to that. All right. So we're going to dive into this uh, trivia once again, uh, almost zero preparation put into this. Uh, Mike can vouch for that. We were literally the, off yeah. like, looking up websites. All right. So who's up first here? Is it you or me? Um, I think last time I got the first question, so I'll throw a question to you. Something that just came out on 4K. Which Indiana Jones film sparked the controversy that led to the creation of PG-13 rating? Hmm. Temple of Doom? And the correct answer is Temple of Doom. Nice. All right. I thought I could have sworn it was going to be the first one. Yeah, that seemed too obvious, though. But but what year was Temple of Doom? That was it must have still been it was still in the 80s. Yeah, I'm just it, it must like have been PG, about 86, maybe somewhere around there. Seems like PG 13 has been around for a while. It does. Yeah. But Raiders was like 1980 or 81 yeah. it's pretty early so it was a while ago. the temple of doom was probably closer to 84 i'd have to look it up but anyways okay so it's yeah. over to you now or me yeah all right what was the name of the first film in the harry potter series it has it has actually two names but I think the most common is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm sorry, uh, that's incorrect. It's so Harry. What do you have? Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, and there's another name. I would have said Chamber um, of Secrets myself. Yeah, there's there's two names for the first one: the Philosopher's Stone, and. Gosh, it's something else. Yeah, it's really not. It, it's really not that interesting. Yeah, no. Well, I'm just there, saying. But I, I got the the Chamber of Secrets was the second one, so that was a screw up. All right, bring it. Bring it on. I sh should have got that. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. What is the name of Will Smith's character in the movie Independence Day? I don't know because I never saw it, and I own both of them. And I've never seen them. Not a big Will Smith fan. That's no secret. Uh -oh. I'm going to say it is Henry Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to come out confident with a guess that you know is wrong. Yeah. What I, is it? Captain Stephen Hiller. Yeah, that's worse. That's Pops worse. and buzzes. I think Henry Jenkins would have been better. You didn't yeah. know it either. 
No. Oh, interesting. Okay. I would have thought Didn't you know that one. All right, here we go. Question two from Mike. Which films, yeah, this is, uh, sorry about this one, but this, which films makeup and hairstyling won an Oscar despite the makeup budget being only $250? You'll never get this. How am I supposed to know that? It's a guess. It's like Henry Jenkins. You just, you know, throwing it out there and see what sticks. Okay. I'm going to go with Shampoo, the Warren Beatty movie. No, it's not quite that old. Dallas Buyers Club. That's a I'm, hor- I'm shocked. The horrible. Given, yeah, but but you think about the, you think about the characters and 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 the effort that went into their look. Not a lot of hair and makeup required for those looks. Let's pick up the pace here. What a terrible question. Let's pick it up. Henry Jenkins. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which 1997 film stars Nicolas Cage? Wait. No, we have this one already. Sounds familiar. Go ahead. Yeah, Nicolas it, Cage, Breathe John it. Cusack, and John Malkovich. No, no, no. Let me answer this one. Um, yeah, that's a question I got. Con yeah, it's a question yeah. I got. Well, didn't no, I you, blow it? You blew it, but then you got it yeah. after the fact. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go to the next one. Yeah, you ready? Oh, yeah. For okay. me, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to give you another one. All right. So you're up one zero, right? You've got yeah, the this is, uh, woo. This it's, is going to be <laughs> it's a this rip is, roaring this is evening here at O Brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what year was Forrest Gump released? 1994 with confidence and he gets it right that's right i know Did my, you know it i know my gump yeah i do know it i do know wow. that one. yeah I did, you know I i'm a have. big i'm a i'm an avid fan of that soundtrack i in fact mom brought me to that film we went and saw that film because i was living at home uh for a brief period of time back in 94 and hmm. we went and saw that in the theater and I listen to that soundtrack over and over and over again. And it's a film. All on right, let's voodoo. get moving on. It's a film moving on, on voodoo. Moving been, on. No, no, no. Hold on. $7.99 on. on voodoo. Tons of extras. I just pass it every time it comes up. I should just I have buy it on it, 4K. But... It's like. And then stop shaming uh, Gump. All right. You ready? Uh, uh, Question is. That, that which answer movie, was about as exciting in, as this episode. In which movie? At least I had a yes. story. At least. You know, here's a here's a, an idea. When you're gonna tell a have story, an anecdote. have a point. It yeah. makes it so, it makes much, it so more much interesting better for the listeners. For the listening. Steve Martin and planes. That's another planes, trains, and automobiles reference. Yeah. yeah. All right. In which movie did Keanu Reeves learn judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, marksmanship, and driving, and performed about ninety-five percent of the fight scenes himself? In which movie? I'm either going to be right on or way off. And I'm going to say John Wick. That's your final answer? Yeah. And it's John Wick yes. chapter two. Oh, that's John Wick chapter two. He only that's did, not he only did 85% in John Wick. That's that come on. No, sorry, can't count it. You know, maybe Come if you on. hadn't bashed my Forrest Gump story, I, the judges might be a little bit more sympathetic. Yeah, let's go to the judges on that one. No, I, I should have just said the John Wick trilogy. The judges say it's two zip. Go ahead. All right, Russell. <laughs> yeah, this is this is bull. <laughs> Russell Crowe turned down the role of which character in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy? Dumbledore stupid to turn down any role and that answer is un is not correct not correct uh, gandalf aragon yeah really okay yeah all, all right. right all right here you go now you're gonna make it up you ready in which one. one in which movie was the iconic delorean time machine originally a refrigerator In which movie was the iconic DeLorean time machine originally a refrigerator? Don't uh, don't overthink it, folks. No, I'm just going to say Back to the Future. Thank God, yes, sir. Okay, okay so it's it's two to one. 
who said during their own, their one and only Oscar acceptance speech, I think they gave it to the, gave it to me because I'm the oldest. His one and only Oscar. Their one and only Oscar. Yikes. All right, read it again, please. Okay, yeah, let me read this. Who said during their one and only Oscar acceptance speech? I think they gave it to me because I'm the oldest. Oh, boy. Go ahead. What is it? You're not going to get it. No. I, 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 if, if you were listening to me, I corrected myself. Yeah. And said, there. And I Correct. emphasized there because I said, who is he? And then I hit the answer and saw who it was. And it's a woman. So I didn't want to throw you off, but you still, I'm telling you it's a woman. I'll give you a guess if you want one. No, I don't know. All right. Jessica Tandy for driving. Oh, Miss, driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. Driving. Yeah. So wait a minute. You, you read the question incorrectly or you made an assumption. I made an assumption before I looked at the answer that it was a male. Ooh. Wow. And then I, I corrected myself. I said, there, so, you know, like, forget I just said male, there. So I, you're saying I have some editing to do is what you're telling me. No, you can. I mean, mm. I you fixed it. And then I told you flat out it was a female yeah. and I might still gave to, you, I still might gave have you to a fix guess. It. I might have to fix it. <laughs> yeah, to make you look better. No, to make you look better because you no. assumed it was a male. Can you imagine the listeners are going to have a field day with you if I don't edit this out? Ah, Trust I'm, me. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. All with right, that. folks. All right. Uh, fan was, mail, uh, OHB podcast at gmail.com. It was a bad assumption. Attention, I, I Mike. Agree. All right. Here we go. You ready? I was thinking of Jack Plant, somebody like that. I wasn't thinking of Jessica. I don't Dan. know. It didn't say he. So I'm not sure where you jumped to that conclusion, but okay. <laughs> when adjusted for inflation. Which is the highest grossing movie of all time? When ingested for inflation, I think is the operative phrase there. But it keeps bouncing back and forth between Avatar and Endgame. So it, it went to Endgame and then back to Avatar. So I'm going to say Avatar. No, gone with the wind, folks. Gone with the wind. It's the ingested for inflation is what's yeah, throwing but, you off. But no, no. Oh, no, wait a second. Wait the... a second. This list of questions is from 1979. My bad. Sorry. No, that's <laughs> what it says. It says gone with Seriously? the wind. Seriously? No, no, no. It, we're just saying it says gone with the wind. I, I don't, I don't think right, that's go ahead. right. Go ahead. Okay. What woman? Easy on the mic. Has won the most Oscars. Catherine Hepburn. Wow. Did you fall asleep? I'm I'm just stunned. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I'm just on? totally stunned. Yeah, but we had this question before, or was it nominations that we had before? Because what woman has won the most Oscars? Period. You're you're okay. really speaking way too loud into the mic, and it's going to be an editing nightmare. But. Be because you you're upset the it's answer right. the correct the correct answer is edith head <laughs> what? what she's been nominated 35 times that's made up one eight that's a made up she, she's that's a made up question and answer oscars no she's like a she's no like one's a, ever heard uh, of edith head She's like a costume person, or it's a technical thing. Oh, I thought that's we, why I'm in stun. Oh, because you didn't read the the category. That's what threw no, me off. I read it. I read, I read it verbatim. No, but I'm saying what? What? Right. That's what I'm saying. There was no category. I didn't pick up on that. Right. Right. <laughs> Much like you, but not quite as horrible. I assumed it was best actress, but okay. All right. Wow. This is worst episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this horrible. horrible. Okay, which movie depicted the battle scenes of D-Day so realistically that it caused post-traumatic stress disorder in combat veterans when they watched it? You should know this. 
going to go with Saving Private Ryan. Good guess. We are all tied up, folks. How long did it take the director of the movie, The Shawshank Redemption, to write the script? Hmm. That's a that's a tricky one. I'm gonna say five years. <laughs> I don't know if I'm high, low. It, it's hard to say. It's either like two weeks or you know, it's eight, years. eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yeah, I figured it, was, it had to be something ridiculous like that. It took okay. three months to film. Which movie has a Starbucks cup in every single scene in the movie? You're never gonna get this. Starbucks cup in every single scene in the movie. Much like Luca that had a La La Land. La La Land. No, Fight Club. All right, moving on. Okay. We're we're going to five. You don't get this. We're going to five, folks. We're going to two to two. We're going to take it easy on you. Five's a little tight, but go ahead. um, Because this is a gimme for you. Where were scenes set on the planet Hoth? actually filmed wow now so you should know this i'm gonna say i should know this i really should know this i'm gonna say vancouver british columbia and i know that's horribly wrong pretty close norway oof it's terrible. I mean, here's here. Let me. I, I feel I need to say why this is terrible. It's terrible because that's in my top five films. Right. Empire Strikes Back. And it's just, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Uh, right. But once again, I have access to the editing control panel and uh, that might never see the light of day, folks. Okay, moving on. Which is the first <laughs> US film to feature a toilet flushing? Wow. You know, the silence is really uh, apropos, I would it say. It just seems ridiculous. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a comedy. I'm going to say Animal House. Yeah, like the genre totally. would really clue you into it. No, Psycho, which you should have known as a Hitchcock <sighs> aficionado. Oh, All right. I should have known that. Bring on the next Damn one. Damn it. Bring on the next one. What is the name of the real life building? Batman captures Lao from. Oh, I don't know that. I can see it. I don't know. It's, it's got that great shot when he leaps out of it. Yeah. You know, I don't know. What is it? It's the International Finance Center. Yeah, I never would have got that. It's in Hong Kong. Yeah, I've been to Hong Kong, and I. Yeah, you were in Hong Kong thirty seen. years ago. All right. After which movie? Kong. I've been to Hong Kong three times, to- four times. Forrest Gump story. Okay. After which movie did the sale of pet rats increase rapidly? I'm going to go with Ratatouille. Bing, 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 bing. Was it right? right? Yeah. I was thinking of the one with Christian. Who, who's the guy who played the dad in Back to the Future? Chris, Crispin you know, Glover. Crispin Glover. He did a movie called Willard. Oh, yes. Right. Remember, right. he loved rats. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got the lead. Wow. What is the name of the movie trilogy that the good, the bad, and the ugly was part of? The man with no name. Boom. Tied up. Oh, come right. on. The horse without no. a man without a name. No. What is it? It's the Dollars trilogy. That that's is what it's known You as. know that's BS. That's what it's known that's as. as bull, that's as much bull it's as this your other full of question. dollars, a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Do you not have a box somewhere there behind you that says the man with I no do. name? I do. And it says it's the it's man in my with, room. And it says the man with no name. All right, whatever. I'm going to accept it. I, 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 hey, bullshit. you know, the, uh, I'm not the judge. Well, it's bull. Interesting. This is an interesting, since this episode is going down the toilet, this is a great question. In which movie? Not, not another toilet question. What, in on. which movie was the sound of a Russian train's toilet flushing you used 
<laughs> oh, come on. Used as the sound of automatic doors opening. Think, think about it. In which movie was the sound of a Russian train's toilet flushing used as the sound of automatic doors opening? That's ridiculous. This is a ridiculous question. It's a ridiculous episode. The, uh, where did we get these questions? Folks, uh, I mean, I, we just, uh, uh, did we talk about lost episodes of Oh Brother? Have we mentioned <laughs> that yet? This, this one's going in the This tank. is going to be deep in the archives. Um, so the sound of a Russian toilet flushing was used as the sound of automatic doors in what movie? Um, is Jeff Bridges in it? <laughs> no. Then I don't know. Star Trek. See where they were going with that? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I was thinking of um, what's the movie he made with the 50 cars? I, I don't know, but I want to flush this episode uh, down the Ford toilet. Francis Copeland. I want to flush this episode down the toilet. Go ahead. Next question. Oh, people. Oh, Wake up. Come on. Next question. Come on. All right. What is the number on the roof? Of the bus in speed. 21. 25, 25. Oh, I was kind of in the ballpark, sort of. Okay. I even have a picture of it. In which movie did Leonardo DiCaprio have to devour a raw slab of bison's liver despite being a vegetarian? I know the movie, I'm just having trouble with the name. It was like Ravenous. What's the name of the movie? I I know the movie. I just I just can't think of the name of it. And I remember the scene. But this one's this one's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Go the, rev, the revenant. See, I said ravenous. Yeah, I couldn't give you that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have taken it. Go ahead. Wouldn't have taken the charity. Okay. What was the first sports film to win an Academy Award for Best Picture? Ooh. Which sports film? Yeah, sports movie. Brian first. I mean, give me credit for that guess, at least. Not which, a bad guess. With James Caan, but I don't this know. One's gonna this one's going to hurt more than... Dallas 40? I don't know. This one's going to hurt more than Revenant. Really? Rocky. Oh, jeez. That is... Yeah. That's painful. That's painful. That's a, that should have been a knockout punch right but there. But see, I, I wouldn't oh. have thought... I'm thinking sports. I was like you. I'm thinking football. Yeah, I a, wouldn't have thought of boxing. It's a good thing I don't visit a boxing gym every other day. <laughs> hey, <laughs> all right. Which movie has a scene of two seconds of footage that took months to create? Has a what? Which movie has a scene of two seconds of footage that took months to create? I mean, that could be a billion different films. I know. I don't know. I, 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 I would say psycho from the shower scene, but I'm just thinking of a damn toilet. No. <laughs> Transfor Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So that's pathetic, but that wasn't even the question I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you, oh, how many Star Wars movies are there? And you would not have gotten it correct. Because I would have said nine. Right. And and it, do they include like the clone stuff? Yeah, it's actually all twelve. Crap. All right, but anyways, moving on. Go ahead. Next. So what's the twelfth one then? You have New Hope. You have Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Last Jedi. I'm sorry, Force Awakens. I skipped one. Force yeah. Awakens, Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker, and then you have. Solo. Rogue, one. Solo, Rogue One Solo. What are we missing? I don't know. What's twelve? They can't be counting the the Clone Wars. This is absolutely getting edited out, but I have no idea yeah. what that twelfth right. one is. Okay, moving on. There we go. Moving Worst on. Worst episode ever. Did I say that? Good. 
of what was the f- we got to start rethinking this we yeah. got to start watching more movies <laughs> go ahead i'm telling you a quiet place too fantastic movie yeah good excellent what was the first movie to be rated pg-13 wait what first movie to be rated pg-13 well we know indiana jones and in, in the temple of doom was the answer to that original question but it's the movie that followed that i guess right yeah i guess i have no idea um kramer versus kramer i, I don't know patrick swayze movie still won't get it i won't get it patrick roadhouse Swayze. really what is it red dawn oh red dawn okay i would have never got it all right yeah which movie is the most most death packed film ever made with an average of five people dying every minute um world war z 300 all right go ahead let's we gotta wrap this up let's get to five (laughs) keep them guessing with this wild card set of trivia what what are you reading a commercial come on (laughs) sorry about that uh what is What is what what is the longest movie ever made? Gone with the wind. It's called <laughs> logistics and it was 35 <laughs> days and 17 hours. What a pathetic what? question. Come on. We've got we picked the worst, the worst. absolutely worst questions worst. ever. We have to like write our own. Stephen Callahan, a real shipwreck survivor. Helped film which movie as a technical advisor? <laughs> Titanic. Life of Pi. <laughs> Life of Pi. I don't even. I don't even. I've, get I've it. seen Life of Pi. Right, it's uh, Ang Lee, right? With the kid in the in the, and the tiger. And whatever. The tiger. Yeah, go ahead. This is sad because this is the, the part in the show where we're just desperate for someone to win. Yeah, I know. I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's you. Right now, I'm winning 3-2, right? Yes, correct. All right. For which movie did Tim Burton train 40 squirrels to crack nuts for rather than use CGI? Pee-wee's. Um... No, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Moving on. <laughs> I like your reaction. Like, no, let's go. Let's hurry up. What was the name of the kingdom where the 2013 animated movie Frozen is set? I don't know. I I, I don't know. I fell asleep. <laughs> Arendelle. <laughs> oh, Arendelle. Right, Arendelle. Arendelle. <laughs> I I didn't know it. I you know, starring Ben Affleck. And, uh... <laughs> That's not on me. I mean that. that... All right. That's the know, directors. That's of, a perfectly cromulent way of saying that. The directors of which movie wrote a new language that the minions speak throughout the movie? That the minions speak throughout the movie. This sounds like a Star Wars thing, but the directors of which movie wrote a new language that the minions speak throughout the movie? I, I'm trying to think of the Steve. The minions, folks. Steve Carell is in those minions movies, but I don't know what the name of the movies are. All right. Despicable me. Moving on. Yeah. Despicable me. And, and see, I knew it because I said Steve yeah, Carell. Moving so on. I was okay. there, but moving on. I've never seen any of them. What is the name of the fourth film of the Mad Max series set in the year 2060? Mad Max Fury Road. Bing, 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 bing. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, because Mad Ooh. Max Beyond Thunderdome was third. Wow, that's painful. Okay. Wow. I'm not sure what to say here. This wow. is, uh, that was brutal. I think this is more painful than the last one. And, and I had to go to the doctor shortly after that wrapped. It, so I don't is, know what that tells This me. was brutal. This was this brutal. Is so brutal. These are For like the reasons. toughest questions. The questions were sucked. 
the audio sucked. I, I'm going to do my best to clean it up. I, I don't know what you're going to hear. If you're going to hear this, if you're still listening, you're the real champ of this yeah, episode. Exactly. You yeah. win. Yeah, you win. If you hear this, and, you should get a mug. And we'll be glad to send you an Oh Brother mug. And nobody's going to hang in for this episode. No, we're well, it's it's a it's a feat of strength for sure. To see it, it, because the, the test of will. I mean, some of these questions. Awful. We're awful, not awful we're not stuff. stupid. We're not. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, this is terrible there's, a, there's a few like Revenant. I definitely should have got. Yeah. Well, um, I, I think it's time to uh, draw the curtain on this. Bid episode. Farewell. Yeah. Uh, before, before we go, just say again, for those that aren't currently following us. <laughs> This is a not, this isn't gonna help. They're not even listening at this. This point. is a desperate plea now, is what this is. <laughs> Make sure you go out to our official website, which is ohb as in brother podcast.com. That's ohbpodcast.com. You get access to all things old brother out there. Few all our people so are in the uh, the mug club. A few people. Yeah, there's a few people the out there club. that have it. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very, very select few very select few about four i think perhaps under six so yeah follow us on uh, on uh, our social media you can subscribe to our youtube channel and like our videos out there and if anybody does that at this point wow it'll be shocking I'm, I'm expecting to see the numbers decline after this episode yeah it's going to be like this, pre predicted predicted downloads for next week this might end two. up in, this is going to end up in the old brother vault i think is where this one's headed yeah I'm well, telling you, see, see a quiet place too, and, and we'll do that. I think you'd agree. This isn't even a win that you can really feel good about, to be honest I don't, with you. Yeah, I don't. It's, uh, all right. Well, that's going to do it for another <laughs> raucous episode of the O Brother podcast. I've been your host, Dan Smith. Alongside me, as always, my brother from the same mother, Mike Smith. I guess we'll see you next time. I won. I won. I absolutely won. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha